Anyway, so I drove in this morning to check on the assisted living, check on the building. Mr. Neff has stopped in the middle of the block of the easement. I took out my camera as the FBI special agent Greg Domrose told me to do. Oh I told Mr. Domro and I told um, Mr. Neffus, please don't block the easement. Okay. I'm recording you. Okay, so is he um, still blocking it right now? Or? Yes, he's blocking the easement right now. He's not allowed to stand there. He's allowed to walk and traverse it, but he's not allowed to be invited to stand there. Okay, okay so it's just him physically? Physically cannot. So no vehicles cool. or anything, it's just him? No, nobody, nothing. You okay. can't block the easement. Even if it's 20 feet, it's not 19 feet, it's not 18 feet. But we're talking about a person, not anything else? Anything, you can't block it. Okay. In, in any way, shape, or form. Okay. okay. So that, that's what the order says. Okay. And it's actually a lifetime peace order, that lifetime order that they came up with, that their attorney, oh, that's P Peter O'Neill, came up with. Okay. okay. Do we because have they this were, yes, paperwork? Because they were facing assault charges. Okay. Right? Well, we have this paperwork somewhere? Yeah, we can get the paperwork from the judge, Judge Vitale's office. We, I can get it. Okay, anytime. so you don't have it physically here? I don't have it. I don't carry it around with me. Okay. Um, so, so bottom line is what they're doing right now, they can't do it. You're actually fine because you're on our emergency easement that we dedicated to the county. Okay. Okay, so you know, you'd, you'd be so fine who, anyway. Who owns this road right here? We so do. this Greg Walton and his brother Steve own this 20 foot right of way, but okay. it's a perpetual easement to these two properties forever. So they can't, they can't stop that. Right. The county let us pave it, That's right. this all those things, not that. but they can't, keep they can't stand it, here. It, okay. They can walk, right? But they can't. The problem is we have film of Mr. Nemphis when we've driven our vehicle up, hide behind our vehicle. Okay. Okay. So we really have a problem with Mr. Nemphis. He's blocking the easement, obviously. So we're, we're having a problem with him standing here. That's yeah, he can't stand. He can, he can walk, okay. But okay. Mr. Nemphis has been filmed when we've driven our car, tried to drive by him, hide behind the car. We don't today. know if he's trying to. Not today, but previously. So we don't know if he's trying to get injured. We don't know what he's trying to do. So today, what happened? So t today, when I drove in, Mr. Nemphis was here. Right, I got out to make sure Mr. Nephis kept walking, and he stopped. He stopped for 20 minutes, blocking the easement. So, again, film, I've told to film him, blocking the easement. He's violating uh, Judge Vitale's order that they offered, that we accepted, right? Okay. After being assaulted, after all these things that went on. So, bottom line is, you know, it, it's we just have to have them, you know, keep moving. They, they can't so block the easement. the definition of blocking, what exactly was he doing to block it? Standing there. Standing in the middle where you couldn't get by. But first, you stay in the middle. Well, I didn't try to get by because before. Because blocking, so, you have to. The definition of blocking means you can't get past something. Well, the, the pro, no. The problem is that Steve Walgen has been in court where his sister tried to drive by on a road they share. Steve Walgen, in 2015, you guys took him away and changed in a spit hood because he beat up his 60 year old sister. Right. But Steve has thrown himself at her okay. truck. So, Mr. Mr. Uh, um, Nemphis, right, has hidden behind our truck before. So, I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm not okay. going to go by Mr. Nemphis because I don't know what he's going to do when we have it on film before that he's hidden behind the truck. I don't know if he's going to have his foot run over. And do something. So it's a, it's a bad situation. Okay. But what the order says is they just have to keep moving. In Judge Vitale's courtroom, the settlement says they have to keep moving. I have to keep moving. Okay. okay. I could unload if I needed to, but we've got plenty of places to unload. But everyone can't block the easement. I can't block the easement. These two gentlemen can't right, block so the easement. So no good blocking. No, okay. just, just keep moving. It's no, it's no problem. But he, he blocked it for 18 minutes on video before you guys got here. Okay. Blocked it by just standing here. Correct? Standing there, right. Can't stand there. Can't stand on any Where piece exactly of easement. Where exactly was he standing at? So first he was standing in the middle, and then he moved over to the side. But he's sitting here knowing, he's saying, he has permission to walk. He does have permission to walk. That's what it says. But he does not have permission to stand there. Okay. okay. So just, he needs, he needs to move on, is all he needs to do. This is simple. It's unfortunately right, so a waste of people's time. All this is his property? Is that, is that yeah, they're 27 acres. Okay. Right. So they, so this is a big so tree. So his property goes up to the fence? Is yes. That, okay. Well, no, his property goes up to the line. This is all their property, but it's a perpetual okay. easement. So, but this was specifically for these properties. Just, just need to have him keep moving. And then, and then Mr. Walden brought his truck up here. Not have my permission to film me. Period. I'm recording you. 
I don't care if and you're blocking the easement. You're done. You're all right, okay. The police are on the way. You're going to stop harassing my friends on our property. Period. That's the way it's going to be. Gonna work. I'm going to get follow a police report every time you do something to my neighbors. Every time. Charlie, leave him alone. Right. Let him wallow in his own. Let's go down here and wait for the police. You do not have our permission to film us. Period. And if you want to put it on YouTube, go do it someplace else to some other person. Stay yeah, here because the police Come are on, coming. Charlie, don't even talk to him. He's not worth it. Dealing with you anymore, Craig. Period. Parked it in the middle of the easement, okay. opened the tailgate. We're gonna sit there. Okay. Uh, blocking with the truck. You can't do it. You gotta you gotta keep moving. Okay. Well let's walk back behind the car because I'm tired of him filming me every five minutes. I don't think that's true. Yeah, stay in Maryland. We're recording too. No, you're allowed to if you tell them. Uh, yeah, I'm recording too. Right now. Correct a couple things. So this fence was put up because I was bitten by their golden retriever on our property and they had to quarantine on their this, dog for 30 days on, on our property over here. Okay. So their dogs, your, this is your... So we lease this, we own this, but the dogs, two dogs ran through and attacked me on video, um, broke the skin. I didn't have the dog destroyed. Officer Simpson, animal control. Um, I said, do the least possible, they quarantine the dogs, but they had to put up this wire fence because they let their dogs run at large on what's, their property. What's going on today specifically? Why are we here today? So we're here today because they're not allowed to block the easement. They're also, I'm not allowed to block the easement either. They're also not allowed to speak to me. I'm not allowed to speak to them. Unfortunately, Mr. Nemphis stood in the middle of the road. So as Special Agent Greg Dummer from the FBI, when they said terrible things in a public meeting about the disabled, filthy, dirty old people, we're gonna put on hogs next door. They don't want the group home next door, okay? Even though they run multiple businesses. So FBI agents said, film everything. You're allowed to film everything, let people know you're filming. So uh, on July 22nd, 2019, when State Highway, they had a meeting out on the highway, State Highway said, this is perfectly legal to have an assisted living here, not a problem, they got very upset. So they physically blocked the easement, okay? Mr. Walgen, his brother, his wife, Mr. Nemphis, and his sister-in-law. Greg Walden assaulted me. Steve Walden tried to assault me all on video, 42 minutes of video. We got four peace orders. FBI told me, and all the county police told me. Mr. Nemphis fled to Florida. Uh, when they finally all go back in town, they all perjured themselves. And then we were gonna play the video for the appeal, and they all said, no, 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 and they offered lifetime peace orders. Judge Vitale accepted the lifetime peace orders. Don't block the easement, don't invite anybody to block the easement. So all five of us agreed to that in court. In addition, she scolded them. This is what the part they're leaving out. She scolded them. Don't talk to his people. Don't talk to his mighties on any of his properties. Okay? We have video where Mr. Nymphus, we're trying to come around this corner and, and we stop because we don't know what he's going to do. Because Steve Walden beat up his sister in 2015, which we have a record of. He was taken away and changed in a spit hood. She was put in the hospital. Beat the hell out of her on a right of way just like this they have over there. They have three other accesses to their property. He drove his truck down here. There's no truck access here. There's no place for them to go. The Madeline Walden said, be very careful because if you try to drive by them, you have to stand to the side. Steve threw himself at her vehicle, right? So obviously we've been very careful. We have video of Mr. Nemphis. When we're trying to drive by, we stopped. Mr. Nemphis is sneaking around the back of the vehicle and then pops up. We can't trust what Mr. Nemphis is going to do because we have it on video, okay? But the, the order says very simply, do not block it, okay? We can actually unload it for the 1928 easement if we have to unload. We had to buy this because this fence was bent for 40 years for the county photographs. The county let us pave this road. The county said, you can pave across their land because this is your only right of way. So the county said this. When Steve Shue was, was um, county executive, they moved this fence in the middle of this old road to stop fire trucks from getting to our place. So we actually had to purchase this easement from these people and record it in the county for fire trucks. This is a dedicated recorded emergency easement for all, for you all. You're parked exactly where you should be. 
So that's what we've had to deal with. Then, when that didn't work to stop us for the group home for the disabled, these are seniors. They put up these solar panels. So we're currently in court on these solar panels because it takes 82 feet at 15 miles an hour for a senior to stop, just reaction time. So we're offered to pay to move these solar panels. They have a 27 acre farm, yet they put these solar panels in the shade of this tree, right? So they've ganged up with Gibson Island to try to keep um, the disabled not only off of here, which is illegal against federal law, to keep the disabled off of Gibson Island. So they've, they've, they've teamed up and we're in federal court right now on, on Gibson Island. One of the things, officer, that, that you weren't aware of, this chain link fence was put up, or this wire fence was put up by one of their two Goldens who came on our property down there, tore up my arm on video. He run at large. Mm -hmm. So they put up this fence. They quarantined the dog for 30 days. There was no rabies. My wound healed. Um, so that's why they put up this fence. Charles Nephis was standing in the middle this morning when I filmed him. Uh -huh. um, we have video, which I can show you. I can bring up my link. We have video that shows Charles Nephis not only saying they're never going to stop, Gibson Island's not gonna stop. They're all trying to stop the group home for the disabled, which is allowed, and we're trying to get one in Gibson Island. Inland County approved the group home. Uh -huh. HOA is trying to stop it. We're in federal court now. All I've done is exactly what Agent Greg Domero told me to do in 2018, after they said terrible things about the disabled in the public library meeting. Filthy, dirty people with filthy, dirty diapers. We're gonna put in a hog farm next door so they can smell the diapers. I called the FBI and I said, you know, what do I do about this? And they said, film everything, right? right. Um, and Special Agent Domro can take a phone call in the cell. He's been, he's been tracking all this. Bottom line is, um, so Charlie Nephis was standing in the middle of the road. Now you would think that moving to the side is okay, but we have Madeline Waldron getting beat up and we have video which I can show you when we tried to drive by Mr. Nephis after the court order, right? right. Tried to drive by him and we stopped because we called him to see him all of a sudden. He ran in our blind spot. He ran behind and underneath our car and then he popped up after a second. So because of Steve Waldron's history, because Madeline was beat up and put in police report, put in the hospital, right. okay? Um, her breasts were all bruised, pictures of it, they're in the court thing. Um, finger was broken, face okay. was cut. Um, Steve just beat her up. Um, and he beat her up for being on the easement. Another time that they went to court on, she tried to drive by. And they stood out of the way, and then they threw themselves at the car. So anytime Memphis is on there, we stop and wait for him to walk off. Came back and he said, we're never gonna stop. We're the Windmill Point Association, and Gibson Island's never gonna stop. Okay? okay, they want to prevent the disabled. There's a huge history of discrimination. Up until um, July 15th of last year, they had not taken out the Gibson Island deeds. We've been fighting them for years. They finally took it out. And I apologize, no Negroes allowed on Gibson Island unless employed as servants. 2021, that came out because we've demanded it came out. Um, they've been told it should come out forever. They also have crematoriums, graveyards, and jails are kindred to institutions, hospitals, and asylums where they used to keep the disabled. We finally got that out. They have ADA parking spaces that aren't ADA on three inches of gravel. Gibson Island just got a county violation, $400,000 for remediation because they topped 425 trees in the critical area. One tree, they, you get in a lot of trouble. 137,000 feet of disturbed area. You're allowed to disturb 5,000 feet, not in the critical area. They don't care. They've got a million cubic feet they're about to get fined for buried stumps. They don't care. Right? So they've teamed up with the Walgens um, to try to, when they put these solar panels in, right after they lost the case. So um, November 18th, peace orders, which we accepted, right? right? The judge is settling this thing forever, right? right. So we thought, okay, things are going to be okay. But that was in 2019. Uh, then they got me thrown out of the Gibson Island Club, right? Because people don't want the disabled there. People don't want... Gibson Island is 99.95% white. Has been. No, and that's what they want it to be. Uh, don't don't disturb. We're like, what, what, why are you all doing this, right? Right. So bottom line is, um, I'm just told to document everything. That's what I was doing this morning. Uh, I told him I was recording. He was in the middle of the road. But Mr. Nemphis cannot be trusted not to block. Now I was not there when Steve Waldron threw himself at Madeline Waldron's car, right? But I do have all her pictures of her being beaten up, her breast being bruised, chest, right. face, all kind yeah, of. This is all in the past. This is all in the past. This is already charged and everything. Already went to no, the, Mr. Nemphis hiding behind our car was never charged. Okay. 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 That was after the judge put this ruling in. Okay. We said, okay, just don't drive by. I have knowledge that he could do that. Right. If he's there, I'm not driving by. Right. Okay. They brought the truck up, which I have a video of, parked it here, put down the tailgate to sit there. Right. Okay. The truck can't go anywhere. That's a little red gate they put in. Right. So these two properties are the dominant, right? And there's no place for his truck to go. So he put his truck in the middle of the easement and blocked it this morning. Okay. Turned it off, opened the tailgate, sat on it. What do I advise you to do is go back to court if you want? 
I would have all the documents, every document, everything that they've been doing, the dates, times, yeah. locations, everything.